Hello, my friends. Miss Steph here. I'm the performing arts teacher at Whittier Elementary. Go Wildcats! And today, I'm broadcasting live on this gorgeous Seattle sunny day from my living room in the heart of West Woodland. Now, we've all been working super hard lately, trying to focus in a time that's a little weird, let's be honest. So I thought today we could do a bit of a brain break activity. We're gonna do something called a brain dance. And a brain dance is a dance that actually helps you focus because it kept, connects your body and your brain together and it helps you focus in on the work that you need to do. Now, all you need for this activity is a wide open space to move and a big spongy brain to soak up some focus. Do you have those things? Then we are ready to go. The only thing I wanna give you a quick reminder about is a safety thing. Now, in that open space that you have to move, make sure that there's nothing in front of you or no one in front of you because we are going to kick our legs today. So make sure that you really do have space to move in, okay? Now the brain dance was developed by a woman and her name is Anne Green Gilbert. She is the director and the founder of the Creative Dance Center right here in the heart of Seattle. And what she figured was that if she put a series of different movements together, then she could help connect the brain and the body to help stimulate the different parts of the brain. Now, the brain break can be, or the brain dance can be used as a brain break or as a full body warm up for an activity that you're doing. But I like to ask my students, on a scale from one to five, how focused do you feel right now before we do the brain dance? I'm gonna say I'm at about a good solid two today. I'm feeling a little scattered, a little mushy. So I think that it's the perfect time for me to do this brain dance because I need some focus. You think about your focus right now. On a scale from one to five, how focused do you feel? One, maybe two, maybe you're at a five already and that's great. Let's see if you could take your focus like all the way to 11 then. All right, that's so great. Now I'm gonna go through this series of movements with you and all you have to do is follow me. I'll give you direction as we go. But there is one specific movement that I wanna give a little direction for beforehand and that's called um, your head to tail, but I like to call it head to tush, right? This is your head and this is your tush. So what I want you to think about when we're doing that part is cutting your body in half. So being able to connect the upper part of your body with the lower part of your body and maybe thinking about putting your head below your waist when we do that activity, okay? Are you ready to brain dance? It's super easy, it's super fun, and just follow me. Ready? Big deep breath in. And let it out. One more deep breath in. And let it out. All the way up high. And shake it down. Ready? And I want you to pack all the way down. Left side. Right side, chest, neck, head, tummy, tushy, all the way down to your toes. And then brush, like you're brushing off sand, like you just went to the beach or something. Get your right side, your neck, your head, chest, tummy, tushy, all the way down to your toes. I want you to focus on your core, the center part of your body, and reach all the way up high, like you're shooting fireworks out of your fingertips, and crunch it all back. And one more big, tall shape, and crunch it all back. And another big, tall shape, and crunch it all down. And now I want you to think about just moving. Oh, this is head to push, so cut your body in half. Upper part of your body, big giant shape, and head to tush. Head below your waist, and one more big giant shape, and head to tush, and another giant shape, and head to tush. 
push and just think about moving the upper part of your body. Now you can do this any way you want. Don't follow me. You get creative with yourself, okay? Don't forget your head. focus feel. I'm probably a big four now. Probably around a four. I'm feeling pretty focused now. See, the brain dance, it actually works. And it can be used anytime. You could wake up in the morning and say, huh, it's time for reading. I'm going to do a brain dance first. Or in the afternoon, huh, it's time for math. I'm going to do a brain dance first. It's with you all the time. It is that simple and that easy. My friends, I hope you had a good time dancing with me today. I sure had fun dancing with you. I'm going to say goodbye. Goodbye, friends. We'll dance together again. Until then, don't drive your grown-ups crazy.